Okay, let's see if we can uh, make a quick animation using the uh, app that we've been using in lessons. So I'm going to turn on Google. Type in P-I-S-K-E-L. Enter. Go to the Pisco app. Click on Create Sprite. And the first thing I'm going to do is make a larger size. And I'm going to turn off Maintain Aspect Ratio right there. And I'm going to change this to, I think, we'll go 640 by 480. Click on Resize. And now hold down the Control button and roll the wheel. Zoom out a little bit. And let's fill it with a blue color. And now I'm going to get a rectangle tool with a green color. Draw a rectangle and then fill that. Now I know I've got a perfect horizontal line using the rectangle tool. Uh, let's make a pavement. and Let's make it gray. And fill that. Okay. And looks pretty good. Let's create a new layer now. So new layer. And let's make a skateboard. So we'll make it red. Okay, so now I'm going to fill that with red, and let's make some wheels, and I'm going to hold down control and zoom in, and I'll draw a wheel here. If I hold down shift, it makes a perfect circle, and then I'm going to hold down shift again. I got lucky that time. And fill that, fill that, and now I'm going to use the selection tool, draw a selection around that, and if I hover over the selection tool, it says Control C will copy the area, so I hit press Control C, and uh, if I hold Shift, I can actually move the original one to there, and then press Control V, and with the selection tool, just shift lets you move things like that. So that's pretty good. I guess we can move these up just a little bit. Okay, zoom out. And I'm going to make some new frames. Let's make five total. So we've got a total of five. Let's go to the first one and let's actually go to layer one and press dolly the sheep to clone the background to all layers. And now let's go to layer two. I'm scrolling the mouse wheel by by the way right here. So layer two. And instead of cloning it, I think we'll just use copy and paste. So with the selection tool, I'll grab that one, press control C, and I'm gonna go to the middle frame press control V and then hold down shift and move it to the perfect middle like so if I go to lay um frame number two press control V let's leave it there that's pretty good and let's go to uh, frame four press control V draw a rectangle around it Sorry, not a rectangle, a selection. Hold on shift and move it to about there. And now go to frame number five, control V. Selection around it, hold on shift. And this time I'm going to move it so it's half off, like so. And now I'm going to go back to the first frame. Selection around it, hold on shift and move it to about there. Okay. Now if we look up here, I could slow it down a little bit. And I've got a pretty basic animation. Now just to remind you how to save these, you click the little disk there. You can say skateboard. And I'm going to download the Pisco file. So save as Pisco and it automatically saved it to my My Documents folder and it called it Skateboard. 
but if you want to upload something to show my homework, you want to click the next one down, which says export. You want to make sure that this stays on GIF, not any of these others. You want GIF. You want to keep on loop repeatedly and download. And that also downloaded skateboard.gif, and that's the file you would upload to show my homework. Okay, now this is a rather basic animation, as you can see. If you want to do something more complicated, for example, drawing each individual frame, I'm going to give you a website that would be helpful. Sorry, not a website, but a search term. For example, walk cycle reference and then do an image search and if you want to look at those or if you want something really basic you can click on the simple tag and you can see this one's only done in one two three four frames and if you'd attempt to do something like this uh, if you're looking at top marks if you can get it to work because it's quite complicated okay uh, so what else could you type in? Sprite sheet. Okay, looking at Mario, for example, and looking at different actions that he would do, or another character, and looking at there's a run cycle. He starts running, starts running, and then comes to a stop. Uh, yeah. Um, I'll record another video, possibly, to um, show maybe another different idea. But uh, for now, uh, this is the end of this tutorial, and uh, have fun.